So with the next major update to Windows 11, Microsoft has promised some performance improvements on emulating Intel and AMD code on an ARM-based Windows laptop. The new x86-64 emulator is called Prism and it's now available. So in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about what is that emulation, why it's necessary, and then look at the performance improvements with this new Prism emulator. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so the aim of this video is to look at the speed of the new Microsoft Prism x86-64 emulator and see how it improves on the previous emulator that was available in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So as you know, Microsoft has launched the Copilot Plus PC and as part of that launch, because they are at the moment uh, ARM-based processors, so this is Windows on ARM, Windows on Snapdragon, technically because they are Qualcomm processors, they have a new emulator that can make sure that x86-64, that's Intel and AMD code, is able to run on an ARM-based processor for Windows. And so they've announced this new emulator called Prism. So why do we need an emulator? Well, Windows has been synonymous with x86 and x86-64 for decades, and all the software that uh, has been written for a long time compiled by default to that architecture. After several full starts, well, do you remember the Microsoft Surface RT? Lots of people do. We are now actually really entering into an era of dual architecture Windows ecosystems. So x86-64 and ARM64, Arch 64 as it's technically known. So now when you compile uh, using Visual Studio, and Visual Studio is available for both architectures, it can produce binaries for both architectures. So we really are looking at this dual architecture ecosystem. Now, at first, there will be x86-64 only apps that users of ARM-based devices will want to run. Now, there are lots of apps that are now native, we'll talk more about that in a moment, but there are still going to be, after decades and decades of Intel and AMD only uh, kind of processors, there are going to be uh, software apps that are x86-64 only. So we need an emulator, we need a, a way of running those on an ARM. To run those, you need some kind of, of emulation or translation. Now it already exists, it's been around since Windows 10. My review here on this channel of the Surface Pro X shows it a couple of years ago now, uh, running, how good it was, how uh, how useful it was. However, now with Windows 11 uh, 24H2, it has been revamped, and this revamped version is called Prism. Why Windows 11 24H2? Because that's the version these new Copilot Plus PCs are shipping with. Now, as I mentioned, there are lots of ARM native versions already. Now, Microsoft is saying that 90% of the total app minutes, that basically means where you spend most of your time, you're probably spending it in apps that already have uh, ARM versions, and they've done a kind of a bit of a survey, a snapshot of non-gaming. This is the big point, non-gaming apps we're talking about. Uh, and then they've done that in the US and the UK, and they've come up with this number that says that really there's already 90% of the time that you spend is actually already covered by ARM native versions. And this is a slide from ARM itself. And again, you can see here just the, the growing kind of support for ARM native uh, applications, both applications, you know, starting there in the top left hand corner with uh, VLC and you, know, you can see all the big things in there. There's Netflix and there's Kindle and there's Handbrake and there's Unity and there's Microsoft Office and on the developer's side there's all these tools that can run already and some of the big names today we can see Spotify and Chrome for example are all now on ARM native versions. So a lot of support and a growing support for ARM native versions where you won't need an emulator. Our ecosystem is bringing more Windows apps natively to ARM, starting with the Microsoft apps, including Microsoft 365, Edge, and the inbox apps you can count on. Top apps like Google Chrome, WhatsApp, Zoom, Adobe Photoshop, Disney Plus, Spotify, and many more will run natively day one on your Copilot Plus PCs. 
So an interesting uh, statement made by Microsoft during the Copilot Plus PC launch was that emulated apps on PCs running the Snapdragon X Elite are more than two times faster than previous generation Windows ARM devices running Windows 11 22H2. So they're saying that if you're running Windows 11 24H2 uh, with a Snapdragon X Elite, then you're going to get twice the emulated performance. Now, of course, the point is, is that two times faster is not only improvements in software, it's actually because of the Snapdragon X Elite itself. And they're showing here that previously they were using a Qualcomm 8CX Gen 3 machine and comparing that to a Snapdragon X Elite. So, of course, there's been big improvements in the process of performance and then some performance improvements in the Prism uh, emulator. So the idea is, is the user experience of today is going to be better than what it was before. And some people argue, and it's a good argument, that that's what uh, matters the most. So what I've done to actually test the performance uplift is I tested the x86-64 versions of Firefox, of Cinebench Release 23 and Handbrake on a Surface Pro X running Windows 11 23H2. Now, fortunately, now the new Windows 11 24H2 is available for Copilot Plus PCs and for previous ARM-based uh, laptops. In my case, the Surface Pro X was able to get upgraded uh, yesterday. So I did the upgrade and I ran, again, the same tests of x86-64 versions, Firefox, Cinebench, and so on, and see if there was any improvement in performance. And so this is what I found out. So running Speedometer 3 on Firefox, and remember this is the x86-64 version of Firefox being emulated, it was 10% faster on the new version of Windows 11. When we go over to Cinebench R23, 8% increase in single core performance, 4.5% increase in multi-core performance. And then for Handbrake, uh, it was an 8% improvement in overall performance. Now, in this case, it's a number of seconds. So basically encoding a file in H.264 using software encoding took just over a minute less. So it was a, a quicker by a minute on the new Windows 11 24H2 machine. So what we're seeing here is some real world improvements in the x86-64 emulation, even on older hardware, in my case, the Surface Pro X, and then of course with the new combined performance of the Snapdragon X Elite, the extra Snapdragon X Plus, then we're going to see both improvements because of the software and because of the hardware. And there you go, the new Prism emulator. Now, do these performance figures, coupled with the new Snapdragon processors, give you a confidence to move into this new dual architecture ecosystem? Are you going to leap in and uh, kind of get involved in Windows on ARM? Or are you still hesitating and you're going to stick with x86 and x86-64? Love to know your opinions down in the comments below. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, well, stick around. Subscribe to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.